Yo, yo, my funky friends, Larry Monk Boy here, welcoming you to the pseudo finale of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. For those of you who don't know, basically I call the pseudo finale episode the episode where I fight the final boss, but it's not like the final episode overall since there is still things we have to do after the final boss, which I guess kind of negates the terminology final boss, but oh well, I don't know. Anyways, last time we finished off World 6 and we almost saved Donkey Kong, but Diddy got a little distracted with his boombox and he just kind of ran away. Now I guess something I forgot to mention last time is, you may have noticed that there was no boss, obviously, but in the, I believe in the Game Boy Advance version of the game, there is a, there is a boss there, which I'm not positive, like I've never played that version of the game, but that's what I've seen, so I don't know. Just thought I'd point that out. Anyways, we're starting off with Screech's Sprint, the only other level in this world, and it is a Bramble level. Looks a little bit different. Looks a bit, looks a bit more purpley than the last one was. Okay, that coin is just below Brambles. Oh, my favorite enemy! Okay, I'm not really sure what that was all about. Uh, all my favorite enemies are back. Oh, not this guy. All right, I'm going to throw it at that guy. Right, just watch me. Okay, I hit his partner instead. I guess that's interesting. Um, it's fine. I learned how to deal with these guys back in, uh, what's it called? Back in, I forgot what it's called. Chain Link Chamber, I believe it was called. We got bees. Alright, we got a, that's fine. Take out the bee like that. This kind of reminds me, of, okay. And I'm dead. That's not good. <laughs> Wonderful game over. I probably will end up game overing on this. Between this level, which is pretty hard, and the final boss, which is really hard. I'm probably going to game over, but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, I like really don't know, understand completely how to do the um, Kong, like how to do the bear. I think guess it's called a, it's called a barrel roll in the newer games. I think it's still called a barrel roll here or a cartwheel. But like do a barrel roll and then still get and still like be able to jump in time. Like I guess you've never really needed to do that, so I never really learned. Alright, let's throw that up like that. Alright, well, that's fine. I can do that jump. That shouldn't be too bad. Anything up there? There, I know where, like, the... There's one bonus area in this level, and I know it's before... It might be up here. Let me, let's check. No, that was just a coin. I know it's before the main part of the level. I just don't know where... Ugh. Those things I just don't trust. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. He's gonna throw me into the... Yep. Alright, we're back at the Cat of Nine Tails, or the bootleg Sanic the Hedgehogs and the... I thought I escaped the first one. Oh, what's, what's, he guy, what's that guy doing? Okay, Neckies, my... It, it just, it, this is just like... What happened to like the, you know, like just the normal Kremlings? The, the, I like those enemies. Why Why is everything gonna be the big bad ones? I'd, uh, I needed both Diddy and Dixie for that, don't I? Alright, well, you know what? I'm just gonna continue with the level, I guess. That's not where you're supposed to go. Okay, well, that's not good. Okay, I think the issue is that I'm always... Okay, I'm not dead, but the issue is I always hold, like, down the run button, but you need to press that in order to do the barrel roll. So it's like, I have to let... I have to, like, run, let go of it, re... Um, repress it, and then jump. It's kind of difficult, but... I think I figured out how to do that now. Alright, I got past the Sanix. Just go up like this, avoid all the Neckies. One thing about the Neckies, I like when you're like going up because if you go up perpetually, you like you'll go up faster than they can fly at you, so that's nice. Alright, this time I'm gonna risk it and um right here, this is how you can get up here. Um up like this. Oh, I can barely am I in Am I in it? What? Okay, I think maybe what I have to do is I have to throw it in first. Yeah, that's what you have to do, and then you can jump in. I thought that if you just ran into it holding the cannonball, it would work, but it didn't. Alright, you know That's fine. That's my bad. Um, I'm just going to assume that this is what I'm supposed to do. Because, like... Yeah. Um, alright. Oh. Well, that was a failure. Right, where does this put me? That's fine. That is completely fine. I can get back up there very easily. Nice that they give you a DK barrel right here. I guess it's because they know that you pretty much need to have Dixie Kong. Maybe 
You don't, but good luck with that. Okay, I'm gonna. I guess they have to do the Kong roll. Like, it's so like, it's so awkward. Oh, that didn't reach. Come on. Well, that can happen. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. What? What? No, I almost survived that. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna go back for this, and. Okay. Okay, I actually didn't know that you could grab onto the vine just from the from the cat of nine tails' throw. I thought that it wouldn't work, but I'm very glad it did. Anyways, we're finally back over here, and this really isn't looking good. This really is doesn't sign for good things to come, given that. Like, this isn't even the main part of the level. Like, the main part of the level is with squawks, and it's pretty hard. Like, this is the easy part, and I'm failing that, so... Whatever, what else is new, honestly, with me? Anyways, maybe I can finally actually get to the squawks part. Hopefully, I uh, just come like this. Alright, at this part... Uh, wait, can I let go here? I don't think I can. I think I have to move to the... Oh, okay, I guess I can let go. Alright. Big jump! Alright, there we go. That's how you do that. It's a pretty difficult, it just kind of... This is the first level that really requires the use of the... Um, I, I, I think it's called like a cartwheel flip. I don't know. I think the barrel roll terminology is exclusively for um, the Returns games. Also, oh, is there anything over there? Okay, there isn't. I just wasted my time, but I thought maybe the um, DK coin would have been over there or something. Anyways, now we can continue. And, like, right here, it requires it again. So it's, like... It's kind of hard to, like, do. And the checkpoint was right there, because of course it was. Oh my god, what am I doing? I just forgot you switched there. Alright, let's kind of try this again. Alright, there we go. We got that. That's not good. I literally just killed myself. Alright, back over here. I guess I'll try and explain exactly what you do and, like, why it's... Ugh, really? I was just trying to do this. But basically, that move, like I said, I think it's called, like, a cartwheel. Like, like the cartwheel jump or something. Can I, like, get back over here? I thought there was something good up here. Anything else? Alright, well, I just wasted hit. But basically... There's a... Was, is there a life up there? Or do I just get enough bananas? Because if there's a life, then I'm very happy. I'm going to start... I'm going to grind there a little bit. But basically, I'm not even sure which jump it is. Because, like, I'm not playing this on N64. I think it's... Or, not N64, SNES. I think it's the Y button. But basically, the Y button does a bunch of things. Like, you use it... If you hold it, it runs. And if you're holding it while you jump, you jump further. And you also use it to, like, hold barrels and stuff. But, like... When, immediately when you press it and you're not holding something, you'll do a quick cartwheel. And if you do that, and then you jump, you can, like, jump even when you're falling, like, in a pit. But the thing is that you need to get a running start. So basically, the way you have to do those jumps is press the button to start running, then let go of it, and you'll still keep some of your kinetic energy. Then press it again, and then hold it, and then do a jump. So it's kind of confusing. Anyways, um, like I said, that was the easy part of the level. This is the hard part. Uh, this is the... Basically, we have to race this guy. And he... F it's just kind of difficult because going fast with squawks isn't exactly the easiest thing to do. And it's not... It, the track isn't very forgiving. Like, you really can't make any mistakes. Like, I've already been hit once. And I don't actually think that there are any, like, DK barrels along the side, so you basically have to play pretty perfect to actually complete it. Like, this level is actually pretty hard, and hopefully I can beat it. I mean, beaten it before, but it's it's one of the more, it's one of the hardest levels in the game. It's, I'd say it's probably the second hardest non-Lost World level after Toxic Tower, but, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can actually do it. Anyways, uh, let's just... Uh, let's see how we have to do this thing. You just kind of have to know the course, and I don't remember like all these levels well enough so that I can do that. So, um, can I just go straight here? Alright, that's a quick little shortcut. I don't think I can actually shoot this guy. No, you can't. That, that would be pretty cool. Oh, of course he can go through the bees, but I have to... 
shoot through them. And like, there's just stuff like that, and it's it's pretty hard anyways. Let's do this. Alright, we're back kind of to where we were, and he just passed me, which is... Cool, I'm dead! Alright, so I just remember that like... Where is it? Right down here, there's actually a little barrel shortcut that you can take that can put you way ahead at the beginning, which is, I'm not even sure if it's possible to beat this without doing that. I mean, it probably is, but you have to go really fast in order to... Okay, and I'm dead anyway, so it didn't even matter. Alright, we're back here. I have a nice lead. I didn't get hit at all, so maybe I can... <sighs> I tried to shoot that other guy, but it failed. Was there anything up here? I'm pretty sure that's where the DK coin is, so... I, I saw it a little bit through the right side, so... Should probably be going for that. I didn't get hit yet. Careful. Oh, okay. I guess you get another one of these. Uh, careful. If I die, if I or if I f lose the race, that's fine. I have the DK coin. I guess I'll say for those of you who are wondering, you do actually need to win the race in order to beat this level. If you lose the race, it kills you. It's not like the um, minecart or roller coaster one where if you win it gets you the DK coin but if you lose it's just whatever you still beat the level so yeah Why every time I get hit there? Like, I, I don't even know how I'm getting hit. Like, I'm, I was doing really well that time, too. But that's fine, because I'm at the end, I think. Don't hit the B. That wasn't the end. All right, that's fine. Here's the end. There we go. We win. We win. We beat it. Finally. Jeez. Like, that level is honestly so difficult. Just because it's, like, kind of the things that you have to do just kind of, like not necessarily work against each other but it's like basically if you weren't in a race you would be taking that level like as slow as possible because of like the turns you have to do and the way you have to maneuver uh, squawks but the fact that you're in a race means you have to just rush everything and it's like doing that fast and while only having one extra hit. It's like, it's just so difficult to do. Anyways, that was Screech's Sprint, the only level in this world other than K. Rool Duel, which is the actual fight against King K. Rool. Just in case I game over, let me make a quick restore point. Anyways, K. Rool Duel, let's do this. So, um, if you thought the other boss fights were hard, get ready for this one, because this one is really bad. It's, this is extremely difficult. Basically, the idea is take a cannonball, um, jump over him, and eventually he'll do this, like, thing where he basically sucks up. You have to shoot the, and you have to throw the cannonball inside. And it takes, oh, that's not good. And basically, it takes a lot of cannonballs to do that. And in the meantime, he's going to be doing stuff like this. And bas basically, it's not necessarily, it feels kind of more of a survive as long as you can and you just kind of have to survive everything that he does like here okay and I died and it's it's very similar to the um, final boss of Donkey Kong Country 1 in the sense that it just is really long and there's not really much room for error now I will say the nice thing is that um you do actually in between phases you actually get a um, DK barrel so if you can make it that far you do get your extra hit which is pretty nice so basically we have this here um, jump over him. How did that even hit? That's... I got destroyed by that cannonball. That's really unfortunate. Alright, uh, we're doing well this time. I haven't been hit yet. I will say that every... I'm not sure if you've been noticing, but every time you throw the cannonball in, he does shoot it back out when it does damage to him, so be careful of that. Alright, which of these... Oh, he does it a third time, alright. Um, oh, it's the other one. Quick 
get it, throw it. I think, I think that counted. That didn't count. Oh, okay, it did count, it just took a while. That's the other thing is that, okay, he's down for the count. Wait, he can do damage when he's like that? Okay, that's fine, the DK barrel is right here. Anyways, obviously, that's not the end of him. This fight, as I said, is very long, and... Ugh, dang it. I didn't want to do the hair spin. Uh, whenever there's a barrel, jump on it. It has the cannonball in it. Did he just punch me, like, through the floor? Like, I didn't even get a death animation. I was just gone. Alright. Oh, it was the other one this time. It's probably, like, the one you're... Oh, cool. I was... That's not good. Also, every time you fail to hit him, it resets the cycle. So, or it resets whatever, like, phase you're on. So, really not a good idea to ever miss. Alright, which one is it gonna be? Alright, it's the far one. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Can I get it in in time? No, throw it! That's not good. Alright, well, um, we're refeeding that cycle, I guess. That's not good. Like, that's the other thing. It's like, alright, which one is it? Alright, fine. Throw it in there. Alright, got him. Wait for it. Wait for the cannonball. Always be wary. Like, never celebrate whenever you hit him. Because and now he's down for the count. Donkey Kong, I'll save you in the... I guess not. Alright. So, now we get this phase where he's just gonna shoot a ton of these. I think it's best to just jump over all of these. Like, some of them you can duck under, but I wouldn't really recommend doing that, honestly. Alright, throw that in there. Alright, wait for it. Also, every time he does that, it shoots faster and faster. Oh, 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 that's not... Ugh, I didn't realize he was gonna jump. Like, the main way you have to beat this is, like, there's no way to beat this on the first try. You have to just keep trying, and, like, every time you'll get further, and you just have to memorize it, because, like I said, this is a really long fight. Like, way longer than even the one from Donkey Kong Country 1, and it just has so many different patterns that he does. You just have to remember them all, and that way you'll eventually be able to beat it. Alright, that's fine. Gotcha. Alright, that's fine. We just finished the phase, so I can get a refresher, I think. Yep. I think it's Donkey Kong who, like, well, I guess, I thought, like, Donkey Kong was, like, the one who, like, threw out a DK barrel, but I guess not. Alright. What am I doing? Just jump over everything. Jump over. I right, duck over under that one. Duck under that one. Grab the barrel. Throw. Please! How does that not reach? Oh, come on, I have to do this again. I'm just gonna do like. I'm just gonna like stay in one place. I'm, I'm gonna. I think. I think what I should be doing is jumping, but staying towards the front, so I have plenty of room to um go back when I need to. Alright, did that part. Um, what's he? I think he runs at me next. Like, that's the thing. I just, I don't always know what he's gonna do. And now he's gonna. Okay, he shoots them bouncing. Bounces more. Bounces higher. Bounces really high. Um. That's the high bouncing one. And, like, that's basically how you have to do this fight is. You just have to, like, know everything that he does. Like, you have to give credit, because these fights were definitely ahead of their time back in the day. I mean. I don't know. That's all. Like I said, all the boss fights in this game are hard, but like this one is extremely difficult. It just, like I said, it's more of like a survival thing where you just have to survive waves of like attacks, and then you get your chance to attack back. And how I let? Oh, cool. That one bounces a little bit higher. Dang it! Run underneath that. Oh my god, there's so much stuff to avoid, like, I wish I had, like, a health bar or something, but, like, one extra hit just isn't enough sometimes. Thank you. Oh, I guess, I guess it's gone now. I guess it only lasts, like, one round. All right, now he's gonna jump, and now it's the bouncing ones, which, like, I really don't even know how to avoid them. All right, those are the ones that... Oh. Okay. Oh. Cool. I think I know what I want to do. I think I want to be as close as possible and then jump and don't jump. I think that's what I'm going to do there. Okay, and now they're doing that, which does not follow the laws of physics in any way, but whatever. Don't don't loop back. Oh, oh cool. Now there's two of Of course. I like literally didn't even see that until I hit it. All right. That goes... I think they go out progressively further every time. Alright. Of course, I got hit by the barrel. Why wouldn't I? Alright. Well, anyway, that's phase 5 done. Let's see if we can get past phase 6. 
Probably not, but there's always hope. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Go. Alright, it's gonna like... I think it, it like goes back a lot more than I keep thinking it is. And then it's like... There's the other one. Okay. Like... The amount of room that you actually have between the two like gets less and less. And I guess I should just be jumping earlier over them, I guess. I'm not sure. I have to figure that one out. Alright, let's do this. Got Diddy and Dixie this time. So the chances of surviving are not really doubled because I guess just increased by some amount. I guess I'd have to think about what how much would Oh, this isn't a good place to be. Alright, wait for it to come like this. I think that's good. I didn't, I didn't really see another one. How do you even jump over that? Like, they're so far apart. I guess you have to jump over them when they're, like, right on top of each other. Like, I didn't realize he did so many. He does, like, I think six, maybe? Or let me stay a bit further away this time. Let's... Okay, one. Two. Right, on the next one. Three. Whatever. Pretty sure he's gonna shoot the barrel next. Oh, of course the barrel does that too. Get the barrel! No! I didn't realize the barrel did weird stuff too. Alright, well I'm not not looking too good now since the reason I was able to do most of those was I just used Dixie's hair spin. Like look how far in it goes. Alright. Um Alright. Alright, is it how far back is it gonna loop? Alright, I just have to do something like that. Alright, gotcha. No! Please! Why? Why does it do that? Gotcha. Alright, phase six done. I believe out of, I think there are 12 rounds. I'm not totally sure, so halfway done, there might be more. I know that there. I'm pretty sure it's 12 at minimum, but. There might be even more. Right, let's see what we got. Oh boy. Oh boy. I forgot about these things. So at this point he's going to start shooting like these gas puffs. And um, they have different properties. Oh he turns invisible too. That's fine. I still have this. Oh wait. Where did I get this? What? How did that even hit me? Cool. But anyway all the um, gas puffs have different properties. Um, the blue ones that you just saw. Um, will freeze you, so you basically will get hit. I don't remember what the red ones do. I there's all, he also has purple ones, which will uh, invert your controls. So they're pretty much you don't want to get hit by any of them. None of them do actual damage, but all the I think, if I recall, red one slows you down. Oh boy. Um. Oh god. Inverse controls. That's fine. All I have to do is jump up. Where was the cannonball? Well, I don't even know what I was supposed Okay, I think maybe he just sometimes will suck you in and without there being a cannonball. Alright, fair enough. Probably start doing that. No! Oh! That's what I think. That's the best strat for this section, is if you have Dixie Kong, you can just do that. Alright, sweet. Phase 6 done. That means we get a... means we get Diddy back, at least. And where is he? Hey Donkey Kong, you want to like break out of that soon so I can end this? All right, we got more gas. Um, Dixie Kong is good here. She can just fly over all the gas. All right. I'm um, now he's gonna be invisible now. And now I'm. Um, she's where is it? There it is. All right, nice. We didn't get hit by that time. All right. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but every time he shoots, that goes faster. I think I mentioned that though. All right, now is the red gas. Which I'm pretty sure puts you in slow motion. Yep. Yep. It does. Um. Not sure. Okay. I should have been holding the other direction. Oh well. That's fine. At least now I know what it does. And now he's not next up. Is he's going to run at me again probably. Now we got purple gas. Which is probably the worst of them all. Oh, how do I want to... Oh, dang it. Alright. Oh, just... Run away! What? How did- I was literally- I was pushing the right way. It just- 
I think I just got too close to him. Like, it's not too bad in verse controls, because just jump, but, like, mainly just want to, like, jump and don't hold any direction, I guess. Not totally sure. Alright, now, next up is the inverse controls. This is what I keep messing up, if I remember. Does he do that immediately? No. Runs at me again. Alright, now, here we go. As high as we can. Can I get over? Oh, oh boy. Alright. Turn the other direction. Other direction! He pulls you in so fast. I th I'm just gonna hold the other direction. And I'm not sure how long these things last and hope that it runs out after the first thing, I guess. Alright, phase 8 done. Still have both Kongs, and also I am on zero lives, so not really looking too good, but we'll see what we can do. Alright, purple. Alright, that's fine. Hold this direction, just hold it. Dang it. Oh, that's fine. I now I'm... Where is he? Oh! I didn't... Okay, that's... Okay, he's gonna like... No, I didn't realize... Okay, I now know what he does there. I hadn't gone that far. Anyway, that's a game over. But he basically teleports to you, and then will suck in that direction. So, alright, good to know. I didn't really mention this the last time I was here, but it's pretty brutal of K. Rule like shooting Donkey Kong directly like a bunch of times. It only does that the first time you're there, but I forgot to point that out the last time, so thought I'd point it out now. Alright, back on phase uh, 9, and um, I have an idea on how to possibly avoid these things. Wait for it. Booyah, there you go. You can do a Kong toss over them. Alright, run away. Where's he gonna appear? Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, just run, into the, run in this direction. Is he gonna... Wait, can he ever actually get me if I'm standing right here? No, he cannot. Alright. 
There's the strats. Where is he? Gotcha. Oh god! Dude! Oh my god! I was so close! He like kept shooting. Wait, I beat it? Oh, there's only nine. Alright, Donkey Kong, get out of there and... Booyah! I love how the finishing blow is actually done by Donkey Kong, not Diddy or Dixie Kong. I thought that there was... I thought that there were more than nine. I thought it was twelve, but... Alright. Anyway, that is the final fight. Only took me... Well, I'm not sure how much that level took me specifically, but those two levels together took me two hours and 41 minutes to do, so... Very difficult. Also, I'm extremely out of practice. I haven't done this in like four or five years, and I just basically had to relearn the fight. Once you know what you're doing, it's really not that bad. But like, the first time you're going to do it, there's no way you can get through a level like that. Anyways, our uh, word with Crank. I will say that one last thing to remember. On the very last hit, and I remembered this. I didn't realize that that was the last hit, but the last hit, there's like a delay with when he shoots the cannonball. And, like, I was waiting for that. I didn't know that that was the last hit. But, like, just keep that in mind because I have died to the last cannonball and it is devastating. Anyways, Cranky Kong's gonna be all like, Oh, good job, you saved Donkey Kong. I could have done it better. I could have done it with only one life. Let's see how well you did, eh? Alright, let's see. Is this, like, alright. Video game heroes. Alright, I'm the second best af right after Mario. I mean... That's pretty good, considering, I mean, Mario's the number one, like, video game hero of all time. Or, like, the most well-known video game character. So, second isn't bad, but, uh, I think that we can get first if we just try a little bit harder, and we'll be getting first later on. Anyways, I also like how, um, keep in mind, this game was made during the whole bit wars between, um, Nintendo and Sega during the 90s. So, you can see that there's actually, um, there's a garbage can right there with signs says no hopers, and you may notice that there are... Sonic shoes are right there, which I guess is a show of signs of the times. You can find more of my coins, which I very much doubt you will. You want to bet, boy? You want to bet, Cranky Kong? Anyways, here are the credits, and in typical fashion, I'll just uh, let you guys enjoy them.
Uh, I guess you guys have listened to enough. Also, sorry that the screen just kind of went dark. It's because I didn't touch my Wiimote for so long that it basically inter that it basically you know like powered down, and as a result, the screen went dark. Anyways, that was Donkey Kong Country 2. Not really, because there's still stuff left to do. But I guess I'll talk about my thoughts on the game. I'll probably do a little bit of this when I beat the game for real. But I thought I'd talk about it now anyway so yeah it's a very good game it was great back when it was released in 1995 it's still great now it's extremely difficult it's a pretty hard game obviously given my death counter and the fact that it took me two hours and 40 minutes to beat the two levels but I don't know it's still a really fun game and uh, I'd highly recommend it to everyone it's on the Wii U virtual console I think I think you can get like I think all three of the games together cost like $15 maybe or something like that like the all cost $5 I'm not totally sure so it's a pretty good deal uh, just a really good game overall so thanks Mr. Yamawachi rest in peace is Iwata in this too I don't I don't think so he wasn't as big back in 1995 but if he is rest in peace for him as well uh, I don't know I guess I don't really have much else to say. I mean, I think I've kind of talked about the game as I've been going through. It's definitely a difficult game. It's a lot harder than probably most Mario games. Ooh, original Donkey Kong creator Miyamoto. I guess that's technically true, even though that Donkey Kong is now Cranky Kong. But, I don't know, the whole Kong family tree is messed up. Like, I'm not even totally sure if... Because, like, there are different kind of interpretations, whether or not... Cranky Kong is Donkey Kong's grandfather, and Donkey Kong Jr. is his father, or the current Donkey Kong is Donkey Kong Jr., and Cranky Kong is his father. I don't know, it's not really clear, and I guess it doesn't really need to be, like, the Donkey Kong games are, the family tree doesn't matter, even the story isn't that important, it's just the levels are great, and who really cares other than that. Anyway, that's the end, and... Uh, Yep, we beat the game, not really. So let's see what we got. What's our percentage at, actually? So we are currently have 75 Krem coins. That's actually the total number of Krem coins. We're done with that. And DK coins, we're not done with that. You may have noticed that um Mario had 39 DK coins. Not really sure how we got those, but whatever. Uh, and there are a total of 40 DK coins in the game, so that's how we're going to become first. And it just so happens that there are six more levels to give us that. Now you might be wondering where those six levels even are. And, well, let me show you. Flying Croc is done, obviously. So we can go through and see everything is done. But there's still something that we haven't finished. And uh, I believe uh, uh, Crocodile Cauldron is the first world this is in. First, let's just go to any random level and get Dixie Kong back. Because um, I lost Dixie Kong in the final battle. Where she will be missed. Except not really, because she's already back. So that's pretty cool. And I guess I should also save where is um where's wrinkly kong up here there we go kong college oh yeah i forgot um brb getting two banana coins all right we're back we have two coins and we also have 50 lives i had to regrind for lives i guess something i'm not sure if i mentioned i probably have at some point but whenever you um reset the game your coins reset to zero and your lives reset to five and uh, I've been getting around this just by um, making restore points and then reloading them at the start of each episode so I've been able to keep my coins and lives but uh, after I beat the game it basically reset by default and uh, everything resets so I just had to redo that real quick anyways uh, I'm not sure if I haven't come here but there is this icon on the map which uh, how do you get to it oh I think it I think it's probably from down here let me come like this yeah there we go called clubus kiosk and we haven't gone there yet but we're gonna go there now and basically he's gonna say this no here ye land lovers me name is clubber and to crush me bridge is gonna cost you many pieces of weight and and if you won't pay up i run you through like scurvy dogs i'm not good at accents i'm very sorry about that and basically we can either pay him up fight him or run away now we could pay but let's fight him bring it on and this happens and basically you do have to pay him and uh, basically whenever you talk to him this and these basically leads to the next to some secret levels which are called the La lost world now uh, as I said the reason that I haven't gone to this yet 
is because you may see that it costs 15 creme coins, not regular coins. The creme coins are the ones that we get from bonus areas. And uh, there are five of these levels total. We're currently at 75 coins. So we're going to lose all of them because we have to open up these five levels. And this is why I didn't go to these levels just yet. Just yet. You might be wondering because normally I do like secret levels and worlds as they come. I don't save them all till the end. But for this I decided to just so... Just so because like you need to use up your creme coins to get to them and I wanted to have all 75 of them at once first before I start spending them. Anyways, we do have to pay up, so we pay up, now we're down to 60, and now we head to the Kremlin Lost World, and uh, now we have some more levels. So that's what we're going to be doing next. As I said, there are five of these levels, and then a super secret level after we beat these five, and that those are the six final DK coins, and that's the end of the game, and that's what we'll be doing next time when we start off with Jungle Jinx. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye and take care.